New here at 6, Illinois lawmakers are trying to get to the bottom of deadly COVID outbreak at the state-run LaSalle Veterans Home. Yeah, hearing on investigation findings is being held right now, and WGN's Patrick Elwood is joining us now with more on this tonight. Patrick. Ray and Michael, good evening. Two significant developments to report today as Illinois lawmakers look for answers on how and why things went so badly at that veterans home. House Republicans are urging the Democratic Attorney General Kwame Raoul to criminally investigate how Democratic governors Governor J.B. Pritzker's staff mishandled this matter. If you can um, join me in a moment of silence, please, in reflection of those veterans that we have lost due to COVID. The Illinois House Veterans Affairs Committee holding a hearing today on the catastrophic systems failure at the LaSalle Veterans Home. In a short amount of time, COVID overwhelmed the place late last fall, killing 36 Korean War vet Richard Seski was one of them. His family and more than 20 others are suing for wrongful death. The deaths prompted Governor Pritzker to make a change in leadership. 31-year Navy veteran Terry Prince was appointed to right the ship amid lawsuits that the veteran's home was mismanaged. Allegations that control measures were not put in place to protect residents. A state probe and 50-page report looked into the root causes and found ineffective hand sanitizer not able to protect residents from the virus. Also improper symptom screening and staff touching residents without proper hygiene. That same report singled out how former VA director Linda Chapa Lavia, who abdicated her responsibilities to her chief of staff, who had no medical background to direct important operational decisions. Today, Republican House Minority Leader Jim Durkin sent AG Kwame Raoul a letter citing laws that apply to abuse or neglect at long-term health care facilities. Quote, this law was put into place to make sure there is accountability in our care facilities. And in this case, our veterans were under the direct care of the executive branch, unquote. Eleven other Republicans are with Durkin in calling for a criminal investigation, but given the political reality of Kualul being asked by Republicans to investigate a fellow Democrat, Ray Michael, we'll see just how far that goes. Back to you. Well, all right, Patrick, thanks a lot.